Hey, what's going on guys? It is Kinkaroo57 here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, unfortunately, there are going to be some audio issues because I was playing game chat. Eh, it's whatever. Me and my editor, at least my friend who is editing the video with me, will uh, try our best to edit out the audio issues. Unfortunately, while editing my editor... He ran out of footage. Or not footage. He ran out of places where he can cut because sheer factory is very limited. So, sorry about that. Also, there's a big portion near the end that's cut that can't be cut out. But, with all that out of the way, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you do enjoy the video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Hello everybody, and welcome to the forest. Or, welcome back to the forest. Uh, yeah, I can say I'll come back to the forest. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that me and my friends found while playing creative. Which, I'm on a single-player creative server right now. You see, I have a lot of the stuff. Maybe not here, but I got all the blueprints. And, as you saw in my... Hang on. Let me make this easier on myself. If I go to my to-do list. I've done most of that. Today, I'm going to be talking about sky basing. Because, as you guys know, if I get out a platform under custom structures, wherever that lies, here we go, you see that I can only build so high. Well, we found a way around this. Let me show you. So, if you do the minimum height possible, just build this. You can jump on this. You spam triangle. But then what you can do, you can lap it there. Now, of course, this doesn't make much sense to do at the moment. Because max height's up here, so why not just build up there? Well, I'm gonna do something similar to that. Now, I at least wanna try to line this up. Yeah, close cool enough. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're going to stick a rope on it. A climbing rope. Should be able to just... Shut up, crow. And then we can just easily climb this. And you're going to think, well, this is as high as I can go. You can't build any higher than this. And by what it seems, if I like try to move around and look up, I can't. However... If I place it on a previous existing platform at this height, like so, and then spam triangle because my character does this thing where he does a really high jump, I can make this platform, and if I stand in here and just push jump, it becomes much easier to do. You'll notice that I can continuously go up. And I keep doing this. And as you can see, we are way above where we can build it right now. This brings up a potential for sky basing. If you've played Minecraft, Fortnite, or literally any game where you can build, sky basing is where you build a base in the sky and try to survive from what you've built as long as possible. Or something along those lines. Now, in the forest, this is kind of a, a cheaty way of doing things. Because at one point you're going to get so high that your platform can't reach the ground anymore. 
so it's only going to cost a certain amount of logs. So I'm just going to keep going up this way, right through the trees, and yeah, you can start to see it's getting more and more expensive, but eventually it will stop becoming expensive. We're going to go up this way a bit, and I will come back in just a little bit, like five or ten minutes. So, you can see that after, like, a few minutes, I'm already this high up. And there are some downsides to this. Like, if you look right below me, you can see that, uh, if you put it too close to the corner, like, right around here, you can place it. But it will go all the way down to the ground. So, you want to make sure to be more towards the center if you want to do this. It's also best to do this It's also best to do this in a single player world. You can do this in multiplayer, but it gets really laggy after a while. Because you're in a place where the game does not intend you to be. Now, you do you do end up being this high. Spoiler alert, if you do manage to get into the sinkhole, you end up going to a secret base where they tested on the people who lived on this island and, well, now they're cannibals. Okay, not lived, crashed on this island and got turned into cannibals. And you actually... I'm gonna... The, inside of the mountain up there, there's a military base or science lab or something along those lines where the testing was done. And, you know, they ended up breaking out and now they roam the island. And in there you fight a mutant that looks like a little girl called Megan Cross. And that's basically... She gives you a gold key card, which allows you to shoot an airplane down to save your son. Or you can disable the artifact, so no one ever has to go through what you did. But you don't escape the island, and you don't save your son. I just pulled out a flare gun there. And you end up, like, all the way inside the mountain towards the top. So you are intended to be this high, but not in this area, so... Because of how its structure is built, it starts to get really laggy after a long amount of time. And as you can see, if I look down, my frames drop. If I look up, my frames are fine. And then I look down, and yeah. I still haven't reached the point where it just cuts off, because I'm going uphill. I probably shouldn't have built that, but if you see the hills going somewhat up. And the reason why I'm building it like this is so I can get back up it later. That's one thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make it so that you can get back up this later. Because if you don't, or if you just want to stay in the sky base, what you could also do is you could stand directly below you, just place it, and then, you know, jump. And it won't cost me logs. But, I'm making a staircase to kind of show you, you can sky base, you can go higher. I, I'm surprised I haven't reached the point where it just cuts off. I'm really surprised. Because having a sky base above the sinkhole, like, that would be crazy. It's on a multiplayer server. Which, by the way, I will be hosting very soon. I'm actually hosting one right now, but it's getting really laggy. So I'm going to be starting a new one to where I'll live stream, and you guys can just join it. So, that should be coming soon. Something I also have in the works, because I did make a promise a while back that I would host Death Run. And Bedrock has been kind of buggy for me, and hasn't been letting me get on... You know, the Legacy Edition. They recently fixed that. So, expect a stream coming out for that soon.
Oh. Oh, I'm at that point. I'll show you guys. Once you get high enough, it will do this. Where it will like, cut off. This is what I wanted to show you. But yeah. It's been doing that for the past few months. But don't worry. I will keep to my promise. Death Run will be coming. You guys will be able to join and have fun. I did not forget about that. So you guys can see that this is starting to go faster. Oops. One tip, you want to hold X. If you're building creative, if you do this in survival, well, props to you. If you just hold X and then jump while holding X, you'll just build it right below your feet. You don't have to time it at all. This is really easy. Now, it might be hard to get up these because you have to kind of spam triangle. As I'll show you. Without falling off. Sometimes your character won't jump high enough. If you jump and then move forward, for some reason it gives you more height. I don't understand it. I'm gonna build up to a suitable height. Oops. Because yes, this is not suitable. Look at that. I'm above the tree line. So yeah, I'm gonna build up a bit more and I will come back to show you how to make your platform for your sky base. And that is the tricky part. Okay, I built a bit more and you see my frames are really dropping when I look over there. At the point when you're like above the tree line, you'll start hearing wind blow past you. So if I get cut off by wind, you know, it's gonna happen. So, what you're gonna wanna do, is you wanna get the custom foundation out. Get as close to the corner as you can. Let's do here. You wanna build a floor like that. Now, what you do next is up to you, but try to build out as far as you can without falling off like I almost just did. Let me not push X. As you can see, I can't, like, build out there. So I kind of want to move back a bit. There we go. And we're going to do there. This is going to seem small, but trust me. You want to go until it, like, snaps? Snap it back... This way? Okay. And then push X. Build all that. And this is where your expanding adventure begins. So you just want to rinse and repeat and slowly make your platform wider until you have the desired length. And you can start to see that we're starting the sky base. Things are glitching around over there. Don't mind that. So, once... Uh-oh. Um... Oh, well, uh... My game crashed. I think I fell off. Okay, so I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm not, uh... I didn't crash. So what I'm gonna do... I'm actually gonna save... In case I do crash. And I will see you guys when I get back up there. And I'll just explain how to do it. 
So, for this one, I would make it slightly higher. I turned the wind down, by the way. If it isn't turned down, I'm sorry. I tried. But the only two options are sound effects and... Oh my goodness. So, you want to build it out. Try not to walk off. We're going to build it out until... Back one. I build it out to there. And then we're going to connect it up. So now what you want to do is you've got your sky platform. The first thing you want to do when you actually have this is find a good spot. We're going to build ours here. Build a hunting shelter. So you can save and sleep and do whatever you want. And we're going to go ahead and save right here on our creative save. Give it a minute. This takes a while to save. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get our sky base up and running. So we're going to take custom walls, and as you can see, it goes around the entire wall of my sky base. We're going to hit X to place down, place this, you know, place this wall down. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. We're going to make... Oops, that's L1. We're going to make this one a door. Make sure the stick is on the inside. Or else people will lock you in your sky base, and you don't want that. We're gonna make that one a window, and the rest can be walls. So we're just gonna... Build this up. And we're gonna do in our lair, because... I prefer my houses to be... Too tall? And I want to put a floor. Now, this doesn't have to be the end of your sky base. You can go higher. Now, the way I do it is weird. If you don't want to do it this way, it's fine. There is two way There are two ways to do it. One way, which I do, you can find a good spot in your house, take a platform, and build it just above the lair where uh you'd have your second floor you want to build the second floor first so you know how high you want to go so i'm gonna go there and that's planned out the other way keep in mind this isn't done yet you want to take the hole cutter this is where you want to be careful because if you do the wrong thing, you may take out your own wall. So try to line this up. Get it right about... Let's say there. Should cut a hole like that. We're gonna build that. We're gonna get the climbing rope. And just anchor it off of there. And now we can go up and down. There's another way to do this. Which is... More realistic, but I personally like this way more. Also, look at the view. The other way you can do it is, of course, with custom stairs. You still need the hole cutter in order to make a hole in your base. That wind is fucking loud. You want to just rotate it so that this end bit is facing the way your stairs are going to go. You're gonna push... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but... To me, it does. R2. You wanna go up to the lair. Keep in mind, it may not let you do it because it's too high. You might have to, like, do it on multiple levels. So, we're gonna do... 
that. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to take the hole cutter. And I'm only doing this so you can have an example. Be very careful. I want to do it right about... You want to do it where the staircase isn't red? I guess there's no way to do that. Oh. Okay. Let me try it again. Oh, my hunting shelter's in the way. How did I do this so easily before? Hang on. Hang... Got it. We're gonna go up to the wall. Keep in mind, this isn't gonna be very straight. We're gonna do... Just so it's peeking over. And then we're going to build this. And... Yeah, the staircase is a bit, you know, in its own world. But yeah. It works. So, I'm not gonna complain. I prefer doing this strat over here because it's almost ten times easier to set up. If you know how to use the staircase, then by all means, do whatever you want. And... After that, we can just take custom walls, and we keep going up. I'm gonna add a window there. I'm not gonna have more than one door. You can expand upon this idea, of course. You can make it bigger as it goes up. That's all completely up to you. So, this isn't technically supposed to be a thing. Like, you're not supposed to be able to do this. But, platforms are janky. Oh my god, the stairs actually scared me. I fell down and thought I fell off my platform. Hey, you know, it's just a rinse and repeat cycle. Rinse and repeat cycle. And, yeah, you can... What you can do is you can take the custom walls and say you don't want it to go around there, you can push square. You can find a spot you want a wall. Like, let's say I want a, a room here. I could... do R2. And I could set it up so that there's a room here. Maybe... there... and right there. And I can turn this one into a door, and I can just be a wall. Once you've done that, you can just build up. And now I got a little room. I could, uh... I don't know, I guess we'll put a bed in here. I thought there were more designs for a bed. Is there really only one? Wow. But yeah. This is my sky base. Now, there is a lot more you can do with this. Don't get me wrong. You could do a lot more with this than what I have shown. But I wanted to show this off because you don't see many people doing this. Either in survival, or creative, or peaceful. Because it's way too much, you know, in survival. And, you know, the difficulties where you have to survive. You know, it's not this easy. You don't have infinite resources at your fingertips. But, you know... I guess I brag a lot. I guess this... Would you call this bragging? 
Like, what I'm doing, would you call this bragging? I wouldn't. But... Yeah, I know, I just called it bragging. I realize that. Okay, you can stop laughing and pointing now. I get it. I get it, I fucked up. I get it. We're gonna make a hole right about... There. Oh, that was perfect. Keep in mind, there is, there is a reason I'm still recording. I wanna show you something. Now, because of how broken one of the blueprints are, or I believe it's broken, you could do something interesting. Where is it? I mean, there's this one. There's this, which is really tall, but takes up a lot of logs. This is what I'm looking for. Here's an idea you could do. You could make a giant roller coaster. Now keep in mind it goes straight down. Oh boy. Okay. Now you can see I still have it open. We're gonna run this way a bit. We're gonna keep running this way. We're gonna try it. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna do it right there. As you can see, we just made... What am I stuck on, our rock? We just made a staircase. And a slide. I'm gonna try to line this up. There are ways where you can mess with this idea, but I'm not going to go far with it. But this is absolutely broken. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go down until we hit the ground. And we're going to hit X. No, it. Keep in mind, a lot of it is going to turn red. Ignore that. The reason it's red... I honestly don't know. Keep in mind, this isn't the first time... Well, actually, it's the first time I've connected it to a sky base. But I think I've built so high that the game, you know, doesn't register it as being in legal area. Like, it's not... This is not in a legal area right now because... We are much higher than we should be. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to walk up this, but I'm going to try. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. There we go. And if we can walk up this, then it is possible... Oh my god, I'm lagging. Look at that. Walking straight back up to my sky base. So this is an easy way to make like an escalator type thing. So that your friends can see your sky base too. However. You can see that this isn't really good for using as a slide. Because the logs are poking through the ground. I don't even know if they exist. Oh my god I made it. So you can see. We're going to test this anyway. I don't have a turtle shell. But yeah, guys. You could do this. You can make this all the way down. You can make a crazy roller coaster. So, that is going to be the end of this sh video, I guess. I just wanted to talk about it because not many... I don't see many people... Who have made a sky base in the forest. Like. This is something me and my friend just messed around with. This slide. 
you're going to want to get this before making your sky base, or you're going to have one hell of a time climbing up and down this thing. Because this makes it so much easier. Just wish I could slide down it. Eh, running's close enough. So, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did, be sure to like it. Be sure to what? Be sure to like the video. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.